What you need to know about Gwen Stefani and Tony Cannell's former relationship. Gwen Stefani has often shown since her notoriety in the 1990s that she is much more than just a girl. In addition to anchoring the ska pop band No Doubt, the Southern California native has also achieved success as a solo artist, acted in movies like The Aviator, designed apparel, and served as a judge on The Voice. Somehow, in between juggling multiple projects and repeatedly reinventing herself, Stefani has played up a variety of personas including a bindied punk princess, the blonde bombshell, and, most recently, a country singer. The multi-talented star has also made time for some high-profile romances. Currently, she lives a super glamorous life with husband Blake Shelton. But before the two hit it off on The Voice, Stefani was married to Bush frontman Gavin Rossdale from 2002 to 2016. The relationship that started it all for Stefani, though, was her romance with fellow No Doubt bandmate Tony Cannell. The two dated for seven years, and it was love at first sight for the singer. Stefani recalled in an interview with Howard Stern, I was so in love and obsessed with Tony Cannell, and he knows that. As soon as he opened the car door I was like, I love him. Before No Doubt would go on to become a household name and Grammy award-winning band, Gwen Stefani and Tony Cannell were young and in love. As Stefani told Howard Stern, the two were still in their teens. Stefani was 17 and Cannell was 16, when they began dating, and the songstress was head over heels. Tony was my first real boyfriend and I was tragically obsessed with him, she told Variety. I depended on Tony for so many things, like to help me with my homework, everything just to survive in life. According to Stefani, she was the one who initiated the relationship, telling Spin that she forced Tony to date her. He wasn't even interested. When we made out that first night, I think he thought it was more of a one-night kiss. But then we started going out and after the first year, I was going when are we getting married. Even after their relationship dissolved, the no doubt frontwoman remained attached to her ex. When we broke up, I still forced Tony to kiss me, she admitted to Spin. I was in denial. I might have lost the title of girlfriend, but in my eyes we were still together. For, like, a year, he didn't have to come to my house when I demanded it. He didn't have to do anything, but when he felt like it, I was there. It was horrible. The worst seemed to be over for them by 1997, though, when Stefani had already moved on and started dating Gavin Rossdale. Obviously there's a whole past we both have behind us, and we can't deny it, Cannell said in an interview with the Buffalo News that year. But right now, we're just a band made up of two very close friends. All we want right now is to finish this tour and release new music. Years later, Stefani's solo song Cool which contains the lyrics It's lovely to see you now with someone else. I'm confident we're cool after everything we've been through. In 2019, the singer revealed to Billboard, it was always so weird to have been in a band with the person I was pretty much obsessed with and worshipped. Then he broke up with me and we became friends.